In this tutorial, we are going to find the eigenvectors of the 3 by 3 matrix 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 4, minus 4, 5. Every non zero vector x satisfying the equation a minus lambda i n multiplied by vector x is equal to the zero vector is called an eigenvector of the matrix A. In this case, lambda i n is uh, a 3 by 3 matrix just because our a is a 3 by 3 matrix our vector x there is a column vector with three elements just because our a is a 3 by 3 matrix and the zero vector there is a column vector with uh, three elements when you substitute our a and the 3 by 3 identity matrix into that equation we get the matrix a minus lambda multiplied by the identity matrix multiplied by the column vector x is equals to the zero vector in a previous tutorial we obtained that uh, the eigenvalues of the matrix a where lambda 1 equals to 1 lambda 2 equals to 2 and lambda 3 equals to 3 those were the three eigenvalues that we obtained previously if you have not seen that tutorial i will include uh, the link to the video in the description below so for each of the three eigenvalues we have to find the linearly independent eigenvectors so what we will do is so we'll start by the first eigenvalue there lambda equals to one and for lambda equals to one we substitute one in that formula there where we have lambda we are putting a one what it results in is subtracting one from all the elements on the diagonal of uh, the original matrix A. And when you subtract one from the elements on the diagonal there, we obtain 0, 2, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 4, minus 4, 4, multiplied by the column vector x is equal to the zero vector. Now, by matrix multiplication, it's a row by column. For the first row, it will be 0 by x1, 2 by x2, then minus 1 by x3 and uh, the right hand side will be equals to 0. We will obtain the equation 2x2 minus x3 is equals to 0. For the second row multiplied by that column vector we will get x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equals to 0. For the third row we will get the equation 4x1 minus 4x2 plus 4x3 is equals to 0. I'll now go on and number the equations equation number one equation number two and equation number three but if we look at equation number one there we can write x3 in terms of uh, x2 and we get that uh, x3 is equals to 2x2 now when we have uh, that value x3 is equals to 2x2 if we substitute it into equation number two, we get that uh, x1 minus x2 plus 2x2 is equal to zero. And when we simplify that expression, we get x1 plus x2 is equal to zero. By using that equation, we can uh, write x2 in terms of uh, x1. I find it convenient to write uh, all the other variables in terms of uh, the first variable x1. So for all the eigenvalues, I will write the other variables in terms of uh, x1. So we have x2 in terms of x1. It will be x2 is equals to minus uh, x1. And from above there, we know that uh, x3 is, is equals to 2x2. But you are saying x2 is minus x1. And therefore, we would have uh, that uh, x3 is equals to minus uh, 2x1. Let us now go on and set x1 equals to alpha, where alpha is a real number. Our vector x, which is elements x1, x2, x3, will then become alpha minus alpha minus 2 alpha. Just because x1 we are saying is alpha. x2 is minus x1, which is a, a, x1 is alpha, so it will be minus alpha. x3 is minus 2x1. But we know x1, we have set it to be alpha, so it will be minus 2 alpha. Therefore, our vector becomes 
alpha minus alpha minus 2 alpha. Alpha is a constant. We can factor it out. So we have alpha multiplied by 1 minus 1 minus 2. But uh, alpha is a real number. Therefore, we have uh, infinitely many eigenvectors. But those vectors, they are just scalar multiples of uh, the vector 1 minus 1 minus 2. So what we'll be having there is that uh, the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 1 is uh, 1 minus 1 minus uh, 2. So we are done with uh, the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 1. We now move on to calculate the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 2. And we use the equation that we had in the beginning, where we had a minus lambda i n multiplied by the vector x is equal to 0. And uh, that equation we had it is uh, that uh, we now have to substitute for lambda there, and we are saying lambda is equal to 2. If we substitute 2 there, what it will result in is subtracting 2 from all the elements on the diagonal of the matrix A. And the result that we get is minus 1, 2, minus 1, 1, minus 2, 1, 4, minus 4, 3, multiplied by the vector x is equal to the zero vector. Now by matrix multiplication, we multiply row by column. So the first row there, multiplied by that column vector x1, x2, x3, it will give us minus x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equal to 0. For the second row, we will obtain the equation x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. For the third row, we will obtain the equation 4x1 minus 4x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 0. Let me now go on and uh, label those equations. Equation number 4, equation number 5 then equation number six, just because I'm continuing from uh, the ones that I had labeled before. But if you look at equation number four and five, we note that uh, if we multiply equation number four, we obtain equation number five. So in this case, equation number five is of no use, it's redundant. So I'll just uh, rub it off there, because it's of no use. And I'll try to eliminate one of the variables there. And to achieve that, I will multiply equation number 4 by 2. And when I multiply it by 2, I get minus 2x1 plus 4x2 minus 2x3 is equal to 0. And I will call that equation number 7. So now we have uh, those two equations, equation number 6 and equation number 7. We can eliminate. Uh, x2 there by adding 6 and 7. If we add equation 6 and equation 7, we have the minus 4x2 plus 4x2, it will give us a 0. So we we'll remain with a 2x1 plus a x3 is equal to 0. Then I go on and write x3 in terms of x1. So x3 will be equals to minus a 2x1. So we have that equation there x3 is equals to minus 2x1, and uh, we substitute it into equation number 7, where we have x3, we are putting minus 2x1, so it will be plus 4x1 there in equation 7. So we would have minus 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 4x1 is equals to 0. And uh, that will simplify to 2x1 plus 4x2 is equals to 0. And then I write x2 in terms of x1, I get x2 is equal to minus a half x1. So what we are having there is uh, those two equations, x3 is equal to minus 2x1, x2 is equal to minus a half x1. So I have achieved uh, writing the other two variables in terms of uh, x1. Let us now go on and set x1 equals to alpha, where alpha is a real number. Our vector x has elements x1, x2, x3. And uh, using the values for x3 and x2 that we have, and noting that we have set x1 to be alpha, then our vector becomes alpha minus half alpha minus 2 alpha. Since x1 is alpha, x2 is minus a half x1, so it will be minus half alpha 
and x3 is minus 2x1, so it will be minus 2 alpha. We can go on and factor out alpha there since it's a real number, and we get alpha multiplied by 1 minus a half minus 2. So all the other vectors are scalar multiples of that vector there that I've highlighted. Therefore, the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 2 is 1 minus a half minus 2. That's the linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 2. We now go on to the third eigenvalue, which is a 3. And for this eigenvalue, we find the eigenvector. And to do this, we use the equation which we had in the beginning, a minus lambda i n multiplied by x is equal to the zero vector. And for that equation, we had it in that form. And we have to substitute for the value of lambda there. And we are saying lambda is equal to 3. And if lambda is equal to 3, it will result subtracting 3 from all the elements on the diagonal of the matrix A. And when you subtract 3 from the elements on the main diagonal there, the resulting matrix will be minus 2, 2, minus 1, 1, minus 3, 1, 4, minus 4, 2, multiplied by the column vector x is equal to the zero vector. Now by matrix multiplication, it will be row by column. The first row by that column vector, it will give us the equation 2x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equal to 0. The second row multiplied by that column vector to give us x1 minus 3x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. And the third row multiplied by that column vector to give us 4x1 minus 4x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 0. And let me go on and label those equations continuing from the numbers that I had used before. So it will be equation number 8 equation number 9, and equation number 10. Now let us look at uh, those equations 8 and 9. If we add those two equations there, we can eliminate uh, x3. So when we add uh, those two equations, we obtain minus x1 minus x2 is equal to 0. Then go on and write x2 in terms of x1. We would have uh, x2 is equal to minus uh, x1. Now looking at uh, x2 is equals to minus x1, if we substitute it into equation number 10 there, we would have uh, 4x1 plus uh, 4x1 plus 2x3 is equals to 0. That is after substituting x2 is equals to minus x1. Then uh, we can simplify that to 8x1 plus 2x3 and then write x3 in terms of x1 and the result will be x3 is equals to minus 4x1. So we have uh, those are two equations now. And the two variables x2 and x3 written in terms of uh, the first variable x1. Let us now go on and set x1 equals to alpha, where alpha is a real number. Our vector x is elements x1, x2, and x3. But we are saying x1 is alpha x2 is minus x1, so it will be minus alpha. x3 is equal to minus 4x1, so it will be minus 4 alpha. So our vector is alpha minus alpha minus 4 alpha. Alpha is a real number. We can factor it out, and we have alpha multiplied by 1 minus 1 minus 4. So we have all the other vectors that are scalar multiples of data vector there that I have highlighted. Therefore, the linear independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 3 is 1 minus 1 minus 4. So we have found that the eigenvectors for all the three eigenvalues. So what we are having there is for the matrix A, which is equals to 1, 2 minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 4, minus 4, 5. The linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 1 is 1 minus 1, 2. The linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 2 is 1 minus a half 
minus 2. The linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to 3 is 1 minus 1 minus 4. Those are the eigenvectors corresponding to those eigenvalues. But one last thing we can look at that eigenvector there. Some texts prefer to write the elements of the eigenvectors as whole numbers. To achieve that, we can just multiply all the elements there by 2. Because we are having the minus half is the one which is not a whole number. To get a whole number, multiply that by 2 so it will be minus 1. So multiply all the elements by 2 and uh, we get uh, 2 minus 1 minus 4. So you can even write the eigenvector in that form. That is if you don't want to write the elements as uh, fractions. So either way, it will be correct uh, as there will be eigenvectors corresponding to that eigenvalue.